Kroger Tender Ray Beef, no other beef so fresh can be so tender, presents Hearts in Harmony Transcribed. Nowadays, when you visit your Kroger store and ask if you can get Kroger Tender Ray Beef, the answer is always the same. You're regretfully told... Sorry, but those famous fresh and tender Kroger Tender Ray beef steaks and roasts are just not available now. But we have hopes that this won't happen many more times. Yes, soon we hope you can step up to the meat counter of your neighborhood Kroger store and buy all you want of delicious, fresh, and tender Kroger Tender Ray beef. And that will be possible just as soon as top grades of grain fattened cattle are available. Because only those top grades are used for Kroger Tender Ray beef. Then it's made naturally tender in just three days by the famous Kroger Tender Ray method. It's always fresh, because through Kroger's own Tender Ray method, there's no need for wasteful aging or loss of rich natural juices. No other beef so fresh can be so tender, and that's something to remember. Something else to keep in mind is this. Until the time Kroger Tender Ray beef is plentiful, Kroger will always provide you with beef whenever any is available. And your Kroger store will bring you the best beef that is available. And now, Hearts in Harmony. Pat and Suzanne Gibbs are parents of a baby girl. And Susanna's recovering from the strange illness which struck her several days before the child was born. All Penny's troubles are once again with Freddie Lang. He's been arrested for an attempted robbery, and Penny is telling Professor Rogers about it. Captain Hollow showed Freddie a ring found beside the unconscious man. Freddie had to admit it was his ring, so Freddie's in jail again, Professor. Can't that fellow stay out of trouble, Miss Gibbs? Is he thoroughly bad? Now, don't misunderstand. Even Captain Harlow hasn't brought charges against Freddy. He's just taken Freddy to the police station to explain about the ring. You're just making excuses for him, Miss Gibbs, when, frankly, what he really needs is a good shot. If you're trying to say that he should have been sent to prison instead of being given another chance, I won't listen to you. Well, look what he's done with his other chance. It's been just two weeks since he was given his chance, and where is he? In a police station again, being questioned again for being mixed up in a robbery again. And he'll be found innocent again. Innocent again. When was he ever found innocent? He was convicted by the police in New York, but thanks to you, given a suspended sentence. But the police did not arrest him for stealing Jed's $300. No, no, but have they found out who did steal it? No, of course not. And the only reason he's not in jail for that little trick of his is that you and Mr. Billings wouldn't bring charges against well, him. Well, how could we? Freddie did not rob Jed. It was Freddie himself who was robbed. Well, that's his story. And believe me, he'll have a story for this jam he's in, too. Could he, uh, explain how his ring was found behind the store? No. He didn't even try. Mm. He admitted the truth. He said the ring was his. Well, sure, to stall for time, give himself a, a, a chance to think up some story about how it got there. I'm sure it wasn't there because Freddie was there. <sighs> Miss Gibbs, sometimes you seem to lack even an ounce of intelligence. How would it get there if Freddy didn't drop it? I don't know. Of course you don't know, because there isn't any other way it could have gotten there. Except Freddy will think of some way it might have. And it will probably be the truth, too. The truth. <sighs> Miss Gibbs, I'm going to take Freddy out of your house, if he gets out of jail. I appreciate all you've done for him, and, well, someday I'll find some way to thank I you. I don't but... want thanks. I like Freddy. I'm glad I can help him. Could help him, Miss Gibbs, because I'm going out to make arrangements for him to stay somewhere else. Even though I think the police are going to take care of his room and board for a while. Freddy's going to stay here, Professor. I have my reasons for insisting. The reason I want to take him out of here, Miss Gibbs, is that since he's been staying here, you've begun to lose your reason. The one who's losing reason, Professor, is you. You just refuse to acknowledge that I might have a cause for wanting to help Freddy. I'm sure you have a cause, Miss Gibbs. But there are causes and causes. And some of them are bad. Some of them are, but this isn't one of them. Look, let me try and explain something. Freddy is forever getting into trouble because he has a bad reputation. No one trusts him. Even you, his uncle, don't trust him. 
His only hope of ever straightening out is to find someone who does trust him. So far, I met one. You trust him, Miss Gibbs, and before long, people will begin to lose their trust in you. I'll take that chance. Not if I can help it, you won't. No, Miss Gibbs, I'm... I'm really to blame for all the difficulties Freddy has inflicted on you. Freddy has no... Freddy has been nothing but trouble to you. It's embarrassing to me to know that someone I brought into your house... I invited him to stay here. Yes, but I allowed it. And it's because of me he's still here. Miss Gibbs, as a favor to me, I'm going to have to ask you to let me take Freddy out of your house. And perhaps out of Ross. No, Professor, I won't let you do that. I will do this, though. Let, let's wait and see what happens with Freddy at the police station. If his story satisfied the police that he wasn't going to rob the store, then I insist that he be allowed to stay here. And if his story doesn't satisfy the police? Well, then I suppose he'll go to jail. But if he's let off with even so much as a doubt of his innocence, then you can do whatever you like with him. A bargain? All right, it's a bargain. Good. It's a slightly unfair one, I'm afraid, because I know the police won't hold Freddy. Oh, well, the doorbell. See, Freddy's home already. I hope you're right. I know I am. Come on to the door with me and greet him. All right, I'm right here with you. Good. I'll uh, want you to apologize to Freddy, too. If there's reason to, I certainly will. All right. Hello, Freddy. Oh, Johnny. Hello, Penny. Hi, Professor. Hello, Johnny. Has Freddy been here? Hmm? What do you mean, been here? Oh, maybe, maybe you don't know, Johnny, the... Clever Mr. Lang is in the hands of the law again. You mean he was, Stuart? What? I was just down at police headquarters. There's an awful uproar. Freddie got away from Captain Harlow and hasn't been seen since. Got away? You mean broke away? I mean broke away. Police all over town are hunting for oh, him. Oh, that young idiot. That poor scared kid. Oh, no, Miss Gibbs. This just... Proves what I've been saying about Freddy all along. He's no good. No good at all. Well, now, if you'll excuse me, I, I, I think I better go. Oh, well, uh, not on my account, Professor. No, no, of course not, Johnny, but it's a little embarrassing to stand here in front of Miss Gibbs and try to say how sorry I am for what my nephew has done to her. Forgive me, Miss Gibbs, I... I... I understand, Professor. Goodbye. Goodbye. And, well, thanks. Thanks for at least, well, at least saying you understand. Goodbye. So long. <sighs> Tough. Tough for a guy like Rogers to take anything like Freddie Lang. No, Johnny. It's a lot worse for Freddie than it is for any of us. I don't know how you can say that, Penny. Here we are trying to be decent, law-abiding citizens. And what's thrown in our midst? An inveterate thief. No, Johnny, Freddy is not a thief. He is, Penny. And he always will be. I'd like you to know, though, I don't blame the kid. He can't help what he is. He's the way he is because he's... The product of his environment nonsense. It isn't where you're born that counts as much as what you are and what you're born with. And I don't mean money when I say it. I mean what you're born with here, Johnny, inside, heart and mind, all that. And Freddy is all heart. And he has a good mind. I've got a good mind, too. I've got a good mind to take you by the shoulders and shake you until you get over this stupid crusade to save the lost soul of Freddy Lang. The kid's beyond hope, Penny. He's thoroughly... Thoroughly bad? No, he isn't. I won't say he's good. He's not. He's a long way from it. And I'm a long way from getting any sense into your head about him, aren't I? You'll never do it with the argument you're giving me now, I'm Jimmy. not trying to give you any argument, Penny. I'm trying to tell you. Well, then don't. It won't do any good. Right or wrong, Freddie needs help from someone. And until he can get help from someone else, I'm going to do everything possible that I possibly can to help him. All right, Penny. All right, do it your way. All I'll promise you is I won't say I told you so and you end up in trouble, too. Johnny, don't leave angry. I'm leaving before I get angry. See you around, Penny. Johnny, wait up. Yo? I... N nothing, Johnny. Maybe you better leave. Okay. Bye. Bye, Johnny. Oh. I 
thought that bum was going to hang around till he got old age. Hi, Gibson. Freddy. Well, you surprised to see me? Yes, I, I am, Freddy. How did you get here? How? I came in through the back door. I thought I'd give you a little bit of a surprise, sneak in on you. Well, it would have surprised me enough if you'd come in the front door. I, I expected you'd be at the police station much longer than this. Oh, no, the copper let me go. I told him the ring got swiped me last week. I, I mean, I lost it. And whoever was with the guy that they found knocked out behind that store, well, he must have found it. The police let you go, Freddy? Yeah, sure. Well, gee, I, I wouldn't be here if the cops hadn't let me go, would I? I see. You don't believe me, do you? Well, I... Honest, Gipsy, it's the truth. Is it, Freddy? Yeah, yeah, it is. What makes you think it ain't? Well, I, uh... I heard that you escaped from Captain Harlow. What? Broke away from cops? Oh, no, no, Gibbsy. Maybe I ain't got brains, but I got brains enough to know that it ain't healthy to run away from a cop. You know, it's a nice way to get a hunk of lead between your shoulders. No, no, somebody's sort of mixed up. Johnny Keith said that he... How can you fall for what that guy says when it's all about me? He don't even think that I'm good enough to walk on. No, Gibbsy, the, the cops did let me go. Else I wouldn't be here. Uh... Gibbsy, I want you to do me a favor. What kind of a favor? It may sound a little funny, but I saw a guy in town the other day, and I think he's looking for me. I don't want him to find me. Why not? Because he ain't exactly healthy for me, Gibbsy, or for anybody who's a pal of mine. So, for your own good, too, if somebody comes around asking if you've seen me since I... Well, since I got out of jail, you tell him you ain't seen me. All right. What'll he look like, Freddy? Well, he may not come looking for me himself, Gibbsy. You see, he, he's a pretty important guy, and he may send a cop looking for me. But no matter who comes here looking for me, no matter what he tells you he wants me for, you tell him I ain't here. Will you, Gibbsy? Please, Gibbsy. Please. is the strange man Freddy is afraid of? And is Freddy telling the truth? Did the police release him, or did he escape? Is Penny in danger with Freddy in her house? Be sure to listen to the next dramatic episode of Hearts in Harmony. You know, just like you, the folks at your neighborhood Kroger store are looking forward to the return of wonderfully delicious Kroger Tenderay beef. And it's hoped that soon they'll be able to fill your orders for famous Kroger Tenderay beef. But remember, when you do get beef these days at your Kroger store, you're getting the very best beef that's available on the market today. Another thing worth remembering about your Kroger store is the wide selection you'll find there of fine meats, seafoods with a rich ocean fresh flavor, and plump, country-tasting poultry. And you'll find, too, that they're priced for real thrift. So for the finest in foods, go to your neighborhood Kroger store.